Testing one, two, testing one, two. Okay, guys. Awesome. Pleasure having you guys here. 20th of February, 2023. And it is a Monday. Happy new week of trading the financial market. Um, this is just a quick one, more or less like I'm talking to myself. So as a reminder, before jumping into the markets uh, this week or today, uh, some things that I need to take note of, some things that you need to take note of, some things that we all need to take note of, is that before you jump into any chart, right, uh, that is the technical, it's always good to, first of all, uh, check the calendar as we have uh, switched the screen now. First of all, check the calendar based on today. You can see today, Monday, there's nothing here on the calendar for today. So the market might as well be a bit quiet. Who knows? But Tuesday, we have some data for the pounds, for the card, and also for the dollar. Wednesday, we have for a couple of other instruments, including the dollar, Thursday dollar, Friday dollar as well. So you can see that apart from today, Monday, we have something for the dollar from Tuesday all the way down to Friday. So this is just a reminder to me, based on the instruments that I trade, based on the currency pairs that I trade, which are, you know, majorly the majors, which has to do with the USD. So now that I'm aware of that, I need to take note of the timing, because these are all high impact news I have here, the timing. And of course, the day of the week has already been established, but take note so that I don't place any trade too close to any high impact news and then the market goes a bit crazy and I'm caught off guard and all. Right? And that's why we always say, no matter what, use a stop loss. This here is the fundamentals and are brought to you by Forest Factory, the calendar. The other website that you can use for calendar as well that are equally good. I've just been using this for donkey years, so I'm used to this and all. And then another thing you need to also take note of, stop loss is very important because apart from looking at this news, which is scheduled, we also have news which is breaking that could come out at any point in time. So you do not want to get off guard. You don't want to get caught off guard. And then also, um, you can now switch over to the charts. On the chart, one major thing that I, I don't know about you, but this is me talking to myself. One major thing that I need to take note of is the direction of the chart I'm looking at. The direction will help me to know what I want to do for that period, whether I want to buy or whether I want to sell or whatever the case might be, right? So of course, this one is a downtrend, meaning that I'm also looking forward to combining this with the fundamentals. Then you start to have a better idea how the two work hand in hand. So in conclusion, Tolu, I'm talking to myself, um, take note of the news, then cross over to your chart, know the direction of your chart, uh, then map out your areas of interest, support, resistance, then wait, patience, wait for a reaction to that area of interest, and then wait to see whether you have a trigger to enter the market to buy or to sell, right? So that is a reminder to myself, today is Monday, um, nothing might happen, you know, might not have, really have volatility in the market, and then, um, you know, it might be quiet. It might not be quiet. Who knows? It might be fundamentals uh, as well. You know, just like not too long ago, we had the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Um, God, you know, it, for the departed, may their souls rest in, uh, in perfect peace and all. To the loved ones that might be mourning here or there, uh, our condolences and all. Uh, Breaking news could occur at any time. So we need to always see how we can protect our account. That is trading. And of course, protect ourselves life. Because without life, you cannot trade. And if you cannot trade because you don't have life, then you cannot make money. What's the basis of you know trading when you don't even have life? Right. Um, so that is that reminder to myself, reminder to everybody here as well. Thank you, thank you to look for staying tuned from the beginning to the end. And of course, thank you guys also for staying tuned from the beginning to the end. Enjoy the rest of the day. Trade safely. We'll be back again, hopefully tomorrow, to give you an update on maybe any analysis that we have that we can take advantage of and make pips make money at the end of the day. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.